Hi, it's Femi from Femi S here, where we sell top grade version here for everyday wear. So in this video, we will go over the top four wigs for beginners. So stay tuned. Okay, so are you thinking about buying your first wig? If you are, there are so many options out there and there are so many alternatives out there that sometimes it could be hard to pick what type of wig is best for you. So in this video, I will go over the top four wigs that are great for a person if you're just starting out and if you have no experience wearing wigs or no experience installing wigs um, on your own okay so the first wig that i highly highly recommend is the closure wig now with a closure wig what that means is that only about four inches going back and four inches wide has lace and sometimes there are also closure wigs that have about five by five um, closures. And then the rest of the wig is tracks. The reason why I highly recommend closure wigs is because since only this part is lace, you only have to worry about a small parameter of the lace being laid to your scalp. And usually, well, from my experience, closure wigs are very snug to your head. So for example, currently I am wearing a closure wig. I'm gonna take it off so you can see how easy it is for a beginner to put this on. So literally, I just put this on and it molds to my head. Um, and especially if you buy a pre-made closure wig, you can, uh, there are adjustable straps in the back of a closure wig so that it can also lay snug to your head. Do you see how easy it is for me to put this on? so simple so that's why i highly recommend closure wigs for beginners because you literally can just plop the wig right on your head and i did this in real time so i highly recommend closure wigs you can either buy them pre-made i have closure wigs on my website i have a link here and the great thing about closure wigs is that they do have adjustable straps in the back so it'll lay even more snug to your head. So you don't have to worry about gluing lace or anything like that. You can literally take it off and put it on. The second option, which I think is even better than a closure wig. So if you don't even want to worry about dealing with baby hairs, a part of a closure, you can get a headband wig. Like you literally can just put a headband, you can put it on and take it off in just a matter of seconds and you're you're good to go but i think headband wigs are great and also you can dress up headband wigs you dress them down you can um put a cloth on top of the current headband and then you can change so it can be different colors you can wear headband wig to the gym you can wear it going out there's so many different options with a headband wig and the fact that it's so easy to just literally slide on your head and slide off your head i think is a great option for beginners third option um when it comes to wigs for beginners is to get a wig with a bang the great thing about a wig with a bang again you don't have to worry about making it look natural in the front you don't have to worry about gluing down lace you don't have to worry about parting or anything like that and you might want to just um, bump your bang or flat iron your bang depending on your liking <laughs> and then you are good to go like it's so simple and so easy to wear i think it's a great option if you're a beginner the fourth option i would say is great for beginners are glueless wigs now the reason why i think glueless wigs would be good for beginners is because you can go to a wig maker usually glueless wigs have to be custom made they will make the wig to your head shape your head size they will add a uh, adjustable strap similar to this a wig band so that the wig will be snug to your head and it will it can come in the option of being a, a full lace front wig or even a closure wig they'll even customize the baby hairs for you but just be aware if you do decide to go down the glueless wig route you will be paying for all those customizations. So a glueless wig can run you very, very high up to like $600, $700, even all the way up to even over $1,000 because it takes a lot of time. But if you don't want to deal with baby hairs, if you still want a lace front and you don't want to have to deal with, you know, baby hairs or anything like that, 
you can decide to also get a glueless wig. Those are the four options that are great for a person who's just starting out wearing wigs, okay? And also I'm giving a free guide to my, it's called the Lace Melting Guide. This guide will consist of several videos. It's an online course you can take if you want to learn or if you need help when it comes to beginners and melting your lace. So if you are trying to make your lace lay flat and you're and you just you just you're just giving up. <laughs> if you feel like you're giving up, then girl, I got you. It's a free course. Um, it's step by step. It's not rushed like a lot of the um, videos you see online. I call it hair porn, honestly. Like, like you can watch video after video after video and you're still like I can't get this lace to act right so if you need help sis the link is above my head and I will send you a free copy of this online course so if you have any questions definitely email me at hello at femiesier.com or leave your comments below please like this video subscribe to my channel and I will come with more videos and tips in the future okay stay tuned